All right, so, all right, so on this video, I'm doing another nighttime review here. I'm gonna be doing some painting with some candy green or a candy apple green paint. Um, this is from Duplicolor Paint Shop Finish System. Now this is a one quart. That's all I sell them in is one quarts. Um, you can check out my previous reviews. I have a review for uh, the jet black and I think some uh, clear coat. But uh, anyways, on this one I'm gonna be spraying this. I'm spray painting my motor. Uh, well, I mean I'm pa I'm painting my motorcycle and. All my painting is being done with Harbor Freight guns. Um, this today or tonight, I'm gonna be doing it with um, an HVLP Harbor Freight gun. I got my paint here ready to ready to go. Um, I've been painting already with it, but I'm just gonna do this a uh, short review on this paint. Now these are pretty much going to be short reviews because I have uh, other I have other um, colors that I need to review. And anyways, um, this stuff you need to use a silver base coat with it, and that is right here the candy base coat. It's a silver paint, is what it is, and you need a um, apply this before you actually apply the candy coat um, but you don't have to use just a candy base uh, candy silver base you can use a yellow white um, as long as it's a bright color um, white yellow chrome you can paint over chrome with candy it looks up pretty nice um, if you can do a candy chrome type of paint but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing uh, just the uh, candy base, silver base here. And then I'm going to run the uh, candy coat. But anyways, I have already done some parts already. And I still have to finish. But uh, here is a silver piece that I've already done. Um, I've already silver based this. And I still need to wet sand it down because there's some obvious flaws and I'm not doing it in a paint booth. I'm just doing like a makeshift paint booth and kind of doing this in my shop here. But on this, I already put my adhesion promoter and all that down. Um, I've already painted the silver. All you have to do is uh, sand it down or wet sand it give it another um, silver base and then I'm ready for the candy color base so I'm not going to be doing that part tonight what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be continuing on this piece that I have hanging up here which is right there now as you can see I've already started to paint that I have about two coats on there um, the lighter the coat the kind of weirder it looks kind of looks like a turquoise it doesn't look so candy green and I'm going to do at least like three to four coats so I can get the dark candy green because I like the darker green colors but that's pretty much it um, I haven't thrown no flakes over it or anything um, I could probably just uh, get away with throwing uh, my gold flakes right now but I need to go a little bit darker and I still need to match the other panel that I just painted a while ago so anyways I'm gonna get to shooting some of that just do a couple light coats and let it flash so I can put my clear coat alright so I have my piece here as you can see um, I've been I have an actual smooth color um, no orange peel. I'm giving it with a tack rag right now since I am doing this just pretty much seat on my pants um, out here.
And I think that should be it for me. Um, the pressure is kind of going down on the gun. So hopefully I don't come out in the orange peel. Oh, I think I'm good. I'm just going to hang this and let it all flash off for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll turn the camera on and then I'll... Alright, so as the paint is actually drying or starting to flash off, it's been about 15 minutes now, but it's pretty cold. But with the cold, what happens is the paint starts flowing out. And if you kind of saw, I don't know if you could cap, if I captured that on the video, but there was kind of like a orange peel look to it. Um, it. It didn't look too good at first when I started spraying, but now that it's actually cool and it's try, trying to flash off, it's actually flowing out. So you can see on the camera pretty much the uh, silver base on the bottom. Um, and then the candy now if you can see it kind of looks black in the dark that's a that's very good I like that because during the uh, shades um, like when the bike's gonna be in the shade and that's gonna look like a black it's gonna have its own unique color and then once the light hits it it's just gonna explode with color um, I could get away with just clear coating this straight but since I wanna lime green to it I am going to be putting some flakes over it but I mean this candy apple green is pretty cool it's a good color um, you can get it with enough coats to where it gives you an optimal uh, look that you want but as you can see right there it looks like orange peel but it's not done flowing out and yeah, this paint I don't know it's not like a it's not like a urethane paint I know urethane you can put like a flow enhancer in it, but this one just with the the coolness of tonight, it's kind of just flowing out. Once it flashes off, it's going to look much better. It already has some reflective. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see. I'm going to wave at it, and you can kind of see, or I can kind of see my reflection um, right there. So, uh, this, it doesn't matter on the candy base if you get a little bit of orange peel because when it comes to clear coating it, you would put um, a thick uh, uniform layer of clear coat anyways. And then for an optimal shine, all you got to do is just uh, sand down the or cut the uh, clear coat down with like 2000 grit or you can start off with 1000 then go down up to 15 and then 2000 but these uh, plastics um, they go through a lot of abuse they go on the these are the belly pens of my fairing so it does see a lot of abuse and I guarantee since I use my bike for touring it is going to get torn up probably in uh if not this season next season but I'm going to try to take care of this paint as much as possible because I am putting a lot of work into this. Uh, I don't know if you can, I, I can actually see it right now. It's actually flowing out real nice. That orange peel look is starting to disappear. So um, if you're doing this on a hot day, you're going to want to break this down with some acetone. Um, it's okay to mix acetone in this or lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner that's available through Duplicar is like a medium fast drying. It's not a fast drying, it's just medium dry time. So it's going to take a lot more time to actually flash off before you can throw another coat. So acetone works good because it evaporates quickly. And I didn't throw any acetone on this. This is just pretty much straight out of the can. <coughs> if I were to throw in some acetone in this, I guarantee I could have gotten it much faster. It would have already been ready to handle by now but it's all right to throw acetone on there on this with this using this paint so I mean it's a pretty good paint cost effective um, it has a beautiful shine to it you can see just like that darkness of the green right there it looks black check that out that's pretty cool 
that's just the uh when the during the day when it looked like that but that's gonna be somewhat what it looks like in the low light levels and you can see right there at the tip it looks black too but actually it's green as I zoom in on it you can actually see the green but it does look black um, you, in person it does look better um, this dupla color stuff the candy color uh, paints as long as you uh, do extra coats um, you can you can coat as much as you want until you get your desired color it doesn't have to be like a like a one or two coats because two coats looks like a turquoise and um, it just all depends on people's preferences but I like the dark uh, candy green color to it it just makes it look much more awesome but also the silver base isn't as visible with a darker candy on top of it but it still looks good um, so that's going to be pretty much I think the review for this uh, dupla color um, candy coat green and until next time thanks for watching